Nvidia's RTX 30 series graphics cards could be outrageously expensive. Let's talk about it. Before that, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon so you never miss another video. All right, so I got this info from the website WCCF Tech. Links will be in the description below if you want to read their full article. But in the article, they state, quote, the latest rumor comes from WJM47196, who has a history of leaks slash rumors that turned out to be true. He has now posted on Chip Hell forums that NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 3090 is going to feature a starting price of 1399 US. So this could either be a good thing or it could be a really, really bad thing. And let's talk about why. So if the RTX 3090 is replacing the RTX Titan and they're just getting rid of the Titan nomenclature, the 3090 is going to be the full die, which by the way, the full die should be 5,376 shaders. The reason why this actually makes sense is because not only has it been leaked previously, but honestly, if you take the GeForce 256 and then you take their marketing information where they keep saying 21 everywhere because it's been 21 years since the GeForce 256. Well, if you take 256 times 21, you get 5,376. So for marketing reasons, that makes a whole lot of sense. But in any case, if it does replace the Titan, they get rid of the Titan naming scheme because honestly, Titan was never a gaming card. And so they just called the Titan the 3090. Now it's the full die. It's got all the memory. Well, then that could be good because we could be taking, you know, the what was previously $2,500 for their Titan and now you're getting it for $1,400. Mind you, that's still outrageously expensive for a graphics card, but you know what? It's a big improvement, so I'll take it. And so if that is the case, I think we could be looking at a situation where the prices line up like this. You get the RTX 3090 as the highest end gaming card, which should come with, you know, either 24 or 12 gigabytes of GDDR6X running at 21 gigabits per second to give you a total memory bandwidth of 1,008 gigabytes per second, which is really, really fast. It'll probably be a super fast card as well. And that'll come in at a price of $1,399. Again, that's really expensive, but it is a big improvement over paying $2,500 for that level of performance. And then we could be looking at the RTX 3080 Ti, which I believe it does really exist. I don't know for sure, but there were slides going around around um, that of an ROG Strix model. So I, it probably exists, but again, they could have just not known if it was going to be called 3080 Ti or 3090. So it might not, but that'll probably come in at a price of then like $899, which by the way, when I say that I'm talking MSRP. So if you want the founder's edition right away, or you want a third party card, it's almost guaranteed to cost more than that, probably more than a thousand dollars and probably $1,500 for the 3090, by the way. But in any case, with that, you'll get, you know, 11 gigabytes of RAM probably again. And then on a 352-bit bus with 21 gigabits per second memory, well, then that'll give you 924 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. Really, really high still, and it would be a slight cut down from the 3090. And who knows if the 3090 is even going to come with 24 gigabytes of VRAM. I mean, they might be saving that for like some sort of quadro card or something. We just don't really know right now. But if the 3090 does replace the Titan, then I believe the 3080 would probably come in at a price of like $699. And, you know, that's not great because it's still really expensive for an 80 class card. But hey, at least it's not a price increase and it will be a pretty huge performance jump. So, you know, it's better than nothing. And then, you know, for that $699, you'll be looking at 10 gigabytes of VRAM running on a 320 bit bus, probably 19 gigabits per second of that stuff giving you 760 gigabytes per second. And this will probably be the gaming card that the enthusiasts go towards more. And then the people who just have money to burn will go for 3080 Ti and 3090 because those are going to be really, really expensive regardless of what happens. So that's what could happen if the 3090 replaces the Titan and they just completely get rid of that nomenclature. And that's the good case. That's the best case scenario here. But if the 3090 isn't replacing the Titan and the Titan still exists, this could be really, really bad. I mean, the 3090 could essentially just be the 3080 Ti renamed, and we could just be looking at a yet another price hike, which I don't understand how the market could accept that. I just don't understand how this is sustainable. But if that's the case, here's what it'll probably look like. You'll probably get a Titan RTX with 24 gigabytes of VRAM coming in at a price of $3,000, 
and that of course will give you 1008 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth and this is the type of card that like developers would buy and stuff like that it's kind of a mid-ground between a quadro and a geforce card i mean that's outrageously expensive though i mean we went from a titan costing a thousand dollars which at the time people already thought was ridiculous to you know twenty five hundred dollars recently and then moving up to maybe three thousand dollars i mean that's just getting way too much for a graphics card it might as well name it a quadro at this point and that's probably what i'm thinking they'll do but hey they might not and so if that happens, then again, you'll get the 3090, which will essentially be what the, the 3080 Ti should have been. They might get rid of that nomenclature coming in at a price of $1,399, probably more realistically $1,500, $1,600 to get Founders Edition or third-party cards. Then you're looking at the 3080 costing an absolutely insane $1,000. I mean, oh, could you imagine? Could you imagine if they try and pull that, if they try and make you pay $1,000 for an 80-class GPU? I mean, we went from 80-class GPUs, if I recall correctly, costing somewhere around like 500 bucks. then they move up to 700 bucks, and now $1,000? I mean, are you out of your mind, NVIDIA? I don't understand how the market could sustain this. Like I said earlier, I just... And if, if that's the case, if this does happen, and NVIDIA's trying to push up their prices once again... We need to vote with our wallets and refuse to buy these this time. Whether that means you wait for Big Navi or whether that means you buy used or even purchase a console for your, you know, pretty visuals and you use your PC for all kinds of other stuff. If do what you got to do because we cannot continue to support these increasing prices. I mean, we are pushing a huge amount of people out of the PC market, at least when it comes to being able to play their games at high resolutions or higher frame rates. And yeah, sure, NVIDIA is a company, they have every right to do this, and if you're running a company, you wanna make more on every product, there's, you know, there's nothing morally wrong with it, but our responsibility as consumers to keep a healthy market is to not support ridiculous prices. Now, if you have the money to throw away, I understand that you can go out and buy whatever you want. But I'm telling you, we really need to band together and not purchase these products because that is way too much to ask for a gaming video card to get better performance or prettier visuals in a game. I mean, this is not a necessity. We can go out without this. We, I don't need to upgrade. I'm, I'm fine with what I have. I could sell my card right now and move to a lower tier card and it wouldn't be the end of the world i just wouldn't be able to give you as accurate of benchmarks but saying that i just don't think that this is going to happen i don't see how nvidia could justify raising prices once again even if they change their names even if they change a 80 ti to a 90. i mean right now we're in the middle of a recession because of everything that's going on and on top of that nvidia has pressure from not only the consoles but also AMD is releasing another big improvement to their graphics architecture in just a short period after NVIDIA launches theirs, which it's unfortunate that AMD is once again late to the game, story of their life, they really need to get that figured out. But with pressure from the market, consoles, and other GPUs coming soon, even with NVIDIA being first to the market, I don't see how they can raise prices even more. I think we're already kind of at the breaking point. I mean, I don't understand how this could happen, but they could do it. <laughs> they, could, they could try it at least. And again, if they try it, we need to push back because this has just gotten way out of control. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about all the leaks and rumors surrounding the prices for the upcoming RTX 30 series? Uh, what's your breaking point in terms of price? Would you spend like $600, $1,000? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, Nvidia and Intel drop prices. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.